How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption video. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is doing alright on this fine morning. And if you're enjoying the series, just like and subscribe. And yeah, if you want to see more, just let me know. And let's get into it, guys. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me... I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well. Goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is damn soon. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Alright, so guys, what we are doing is, if you saw in the other ones, so what we are doing is robbing this rich carriage right here for some money. Just to basically to get some little bit of money. I'm guessing, uh, Mr. Rich Pants over here. Because I don't even know what to call him in the last episode. There's a blue bird on my um, air conditioner, sorry. It's pretty cool. It's a f uh, full blue bird. Stomach's yellow and everything. Um, except for that part. Um, <laughs> I just got carried away because I just saw a blue bird. Uh, but no. We're Mr. Rich Pants over here. I'm guessing he doesn't have a lot of money or something. Because, um, apparently, though, he works with some, some group. I don't even know what the group is. But he works with a group that is in the train station. It's like the ticket man. What would you call those? Ticket people? I don't know. Something about tickets, something, I don't know. They sell you tickets and you pay your bail from them. And then it clears up your bail. That's all I know is. Because that's all I have knowledge of. Because I really don't know what he does. Like what you would really call them. And I thought the horse was going to start pooping when I had the camera right there at the bottom. At the back of it. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought it was gonna start pooping. Cause I was about to say, ooh, that's not good for camera view. Cause nobody wants to see horse poop just plopping down. 
horses in this game, I'm not gonna lie. It's like every time you log in or you go somewhere, right? They just poop a lot. I mean, I know horses do poop a lot, but they poop more than the actual horse and stuff. I mean, seriously. They poop more than a normal one does. Because I think playing this and stuff, basically doing half these videos I've already uploaded and stuff and more that's coming. I mean, where I'm right now at and stuff, it's, I've probably seen horses already poop like 20 or 30 times already. And that's not even including one horse. It's like all the horses back at camp. Even camps in like Valentine's. Um, I don't even know what the other camp or town is named. I mean, it's just a lot of horses poop in this game. I mean, it's like every two seconds they gotta take a poop. I mean, I don't even know what the purpose is, really, because, I mean, it's like, they just go way too much. I think my horse probably goes, like, probably by itself, six times a day in this game. I mean, I think I've caught some on camera, but just cut them out and stuff. I don't know if I've ever had the horse, you know, like, while you're going, um, down the, like, little thing, and then it just starts pooping while you're just walking. I don't think it's ever done that, personally, where it's just pooped on us all. Well own. done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur! Uh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and... Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Aren't they telling him that he needs to act like yep. a human? Because I don't know. All I know is he got himself caught, and that's all I know. I I don't know. I was planning on to, like, of... Just deleting this part all the way up. But I didn't know if I should delete it or not. Like, if I should delete it from... Basically, all the way at the beginning. I did delete the, um, horse riding part. Like, because I already told you guys that I'm just going to do that. Because it kind of is, like, slow and boring and stuff. And... I mean, personally, if you don't want me guys to do that, just let me know, and I won't do it anymore. But most of the games I probably will play, I probably will delete of going to 
basically driving, um, riding or anything like that, and I will probably, not gonna lie to you guys, probably will delete it. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'll leave in the important parts, like when, you know, um, when we're gonna go, uh, raid the moonshiners, and we came across the... Uh, dang it. Came across the the um, carriage and stuff like with the bodies and stuff, and I left that in. I'll do stuff like that, but if it's not really important, I mean, I'm not gonna leave it in. I'm just personally my opinion, because I think it's the most boringest thing ever. Excuse me. I mean, because I can't be the only one who thinks riding in this horse back and forth to places is kind of boring. I mean, I can't be the only one who thinks that. Because I probably would overuse the teleporting if it had, like, able, you know, like, where you teleport to the mission. I probably would do that and probably not ride the horse. Because I'd probably would teleport a lot. Alright, I'll be quiet. Alright. That was the most of me being quiet. Well, no. It's not the most of when I've been quiet on this video. I think the most quietest thing ever is when it goes from one cutscene to another cutscene. And I don't talk then. I think that's when it's the most quiet thing ever. I don't know though. Um, I think Red Dead kind of did a over, like you know, talkative and stuff on um the horse riding and stuff. Cause I mean they talk way too much. Cause you know the whoever played those characters and stuff and did the horse riding ones oh you know they got paid a lot of money and stuff because i know there's Good. some who do uh here got these things ready. and i'll be quiet okay there's plenty of guards out there here's how i feel we should deal with things you head over to the dry barn sure and you I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna we'll end it here. Thank you for watching. No I hope all y'all have a wonderful quick. day. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.